Hello and welcome to graphics.tv. I'm your host, Mac. In the last episode, I promised that I was going to show you how I designed this website mark. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to show you what I have on my layers. So uh, I'm just going to deselect this website by clicking this eye icon. Basically, what I have here is the 16 column grid uh, guidelines that will show me roughly where things are while I'm designing. And then here we've got the background and on this layer, I've got the image of the cupcake and the palette. So basically, this is the, these are the colors that I'll be following in this design. To find out more about how I created this color palette, you need to go to uh, my second video on how to create color palettes. Okay, let's get started. I'm going to start by uh, applying a background color to our design. So I'm just going to double click the full the set foreground color and selecting this light brown, maybe about here and then clicking OK to apply. To apply this color to the background, I need to press, hold down the Alt key and backspace. OK, so next we're going to create um, a line that separates the footer. So I'm just going to click on the line tool. Actually, before I, uh, before I draw the line, I'm going to hold down the Control key and then pressing the semicolon to reveal my guides. OK, so I'm going to hold down the shift key and then just drag across. The color of the line is the same color as the background. So I'm going to change that by double clicking this icon and selecting a darker color and then OK to apply the color. OK, next we're going to add the, um, the footer text. OK, so that's going to be Taffy's Cupcakes. Actually, I've noticed that um, the text color is the same as the background. So I'm just going to highlight this text and double click the set text color. Then I'm going to choose a darker color. Maybe this one will do. Or maybe even a darker one like that. And then click OK to apply. So I'm going to go back to the type tool, and then just clicking uh, back on the text. And I'm just going to continue. So I'm going to add three spaces. Then I'm going to type in copyright. I'm also going to add the navigation to the footer. So I'm just going to hold down the um, the space bar, and then just add, just add the footer text. So that's going to be home. So now after the word, I'm going to add five spaces, that horizontal bar to separate the text. So I'm going to add the five spaces now. So that's one, two, three, four, five. And then the horizontal bar, one, two, three, four, five. So that's going to be home about about us. Orders. Gallery. And contact us. OK, so that's it for the footer text. I'm just going to click the Move tool, to click on the text, and just move it into position. OK, so next, what we're going to do is we're going to start designing the side navigation. To design the sidebar, I'm going to click the New Layer icon. And selecting the Rectangular Marquee tool, I want to click and drag all the way to the bottom here. OK, now we need to create a, a gradient that, that's going to fade into the background. So we're going to do that by clicking the foreground color and setting it to this lighter shade of brown and by clicking OK. To apply the gradient, we need to this grade, we need to go to this gradient tool and in the top left, we need to click this arrow pointing down and select and uh, selecting the second uh, foreground to transparent. Click, hold on the shift key and then just drag to the left like that. OK, so to deselect, I'm just going to press Control D. Now that gradient is a bit too dark. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the opacity here. So you can, as you can see, when you just hover on the word opacity, you get those two arrows pointing to the left and one pointing to the right. So I'm just going to click once and just drag it down to about 50%. Okay. Now next, what we need to do is we need to create the lines that separate the buttons. So we're going to go back to the line tool. And then just by clicking, hold on the shift key and then just drag to the left like that. Okay. So we're going to 
I want to click the move tool just to see how that line looks. Okay, it's not too bad. The color is not really the color that we're looking for, but we're going to change that later. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is to make things easier for me, I'm going to show you a quick shortcut. So I'm going to come back here to the layers panel, click on uh, the line layer, and I'm just going to hold down the control J to duplicate the same layer. So I'm going to do this a couple of times. So we can see I've done um, five copies of that line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on uh, this layer and just drag each line down. So I'm going to start by um, doing the fifth one. And holding down the, um, the down arrow, I'm just going to hold it down to about there. And then number four, I'm just going to drag it down again. I'm not going to bore you by um, trying to align this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and then we're going to come back when I've uh, really aligned all of them. Okay, now that I've got the lines in place, what I'm gonna do now is change the color of the lines so that they blend in with the um, background. To do that, all we have to do is to double click on each layer in this, in this button. So I'm gonna double click there and then select the background color just by clicking anywhere on the background and then just saying okay to apply. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same for the rest of the lines. Okay, excellent. So what we're going to do now, because our layers are getting all untidy now, so what we're going to do is we're going to start grouping them in order so that our, our layers uh, look very tidy and we don't get confused. So I'm just going to click, hold down the control key, and then just select these because we know these are the lines on navigation. So we're going to click this drop down and select new group from layers. So we're just going to call that nav lines. Maybe I should put a space between nav and lines like that and then just saying okay okay this layer one okay we know that's our navigation background so we're just going to label that nav dash bg or rather space bg this is our footer line okay you know if you get used to um, labeling all your layers it makes your design very easy because it's very easy to get carried away with these with these layers because they can become quite a lot to manage. So by creating these folders, uh, it makes everything easier. Okay, so next what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start adding the text to the navigation. So the first one is gonna be home. And the next one is gonna be about us. Orders. Gallery. And finally, contact. Okay, so uh, the font for the navigation is going to be Myriad Pro and the size, okay, say 20 pixels. So that's going to be the size for um, our navigation text. I'm just going to do the same to the rest of them. Okay, now that I've got the text all the same size, I've just noticed that the text is not very clear because the color is too close to the background. So we need to add a bit of contrast. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the color for all the texts except the home button because we're gonna put um, a background to that. Okay, so uh, what I'm gonna do is I just select the, um, the word and then you go to uh, set the text color Double click on that and I'm just going to select the darkest um, color from my palette and then click OK to apply. So I'm going to do that for the rest of the links. So next, what we're going to do is we're going to add the text for the address that comes on the bottom here. OK, so I'm just going to put an imaginary address. Um, that's going to be these cupcakes. Okay, I'm gonna add the postcode. Again, this is just, I'm just typing in random random digits. Okay, so I'm just gonna highlight that and change the size to say 13 pixels or maybe 14. And I've noticed that the text is centered in the middle. So I'm just gonna center right by clicking the right align text like so. Okay, I'm just gonna click the right arrow to nudge that, in, to nudge that into position. All right, so next what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the home button, I mean to the home link, and 